What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and before we continue, the following video is going to have a lot of sensitive topics so definitely be warned but um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the whole Alex Strife thing with Apex and whatnot. I'm actually a little bit late to the party. I planned on covering this in entirety, however, there were a lot of things going on with me moving and getting my own PC and whatnot so I really couldn't get on top of it but still there's a whole lot of things that have happened in this whole freaking Alex Strife thing. Now if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, here is the nutshell version of it. Now, the biggest tournament for Smash Brothers yearly is called Apex. Usually, um, actually this year it's happening in New Jersey. I don't know if it happens there every year. I only learned about it this year because, you know, I wasn't in the Smash community before this year. However, this Apex tournament is huge. Like, a lot of Smashers come from all over the world to get in this tournament and to try to compete. The prizes are great. Social networking is there. And the whole tournament it usually has like you know a bunch of people running it however the main man in charge was a guy called Alex Strife now apparently there was a whole lot of controversy around Alex because there were a lot of accusations that came up a few days ago in terms of him um, sexually harassing people um, preying on young girls um, pedophilic behavior pretty much and there was also a lot of um, a lot of talk about him in terms of him outing certain people in the transgender community it was fucked up because you know of course there are going to be some people who are transgender and Smash Brothers and the way that he the way that he handled it was fucked up man I'll be, I'll be I'm just gonna be very blunt with you because he was outing people without any permission it, it, was, it was stuff that you really shouldn't do and he kind of got put on blast for all of it and then on top of everything else Chibo actually comes through and then talks about his experiences with Alex Strife and all the bullshit that he's put him through throughout the years with Apex and you know it's kind of eye-opening because this puts me in mind of the whole Sam Pepper thing that happened in the YouTube community a few months ago if you don't know, I'm talking about Sam Pepper is a big YouTuber who kind of got a little bit too self-entitled and actually started sexually harassing girls on the street and he got put under for it. The same thing happened to this Alex Strife guy. This is a very, well, I should say was, a very notable member of the Smash community. And uh, he had a lot of pull, but all these people came out and started to kind of put the pressure on. And it's for right reasons too, because you know, obviously, there's a lot of people that can say, oh, what if these things were true or not? The thing that really makes this all validated is the fact that these people are not just, you know, random people who don't have anything to do with the community coming up. I mean, people like Chibo, um, you also have people who weren't even related to Apex, you know, because Chibo actually has been helping out with Apex for a little while now, and his story is crazy. You know, I wish I could cover everybody's story in length in this video, but, you know, it's just meant to be a nutshell version. But Chibo's story with this whole thing just was just eye opening, you know? And Alex Strife has been doing a lot of messed up stuff, um, and it doesn't even involve, you know, the pedophilic behavior or the, the, the bad treatment to transgender members in the Smash community. But, like, for example, one example that stuck in my head is that at one Apex, uh, at one apex, Alex made it so that visitors from Japan who were coming to the tournament were transferred there through a U-Haul truck in the back with a, pun a ton of other equipment and there was a high chance that they would get hurt and it's kind of you know, reckless behavior like that. And you know, I, I mean, I wish I could show you some examples, but you know, they're also extensive. It's messed up, man. But um, this guy, Alex Strife, so the pressure got put on to the point where Alex actually stepped down as the head of Apex. So as you can see right here, at this time, Alex Strife will be stepping down from his duties at Apex and we will be moving forward with Apex 2015. It's the largest Smash Brothers tournament ever and the staff hopes to bring you the best experience we can. So as you can see, things got put on to the point where you know, Alex pretty much had to step down from his post. And I'm glad to see this kind of stuff going down in the Smash community. Especially considering that Apex is being sponsored by Nintendo this year, or at least Nintendo is one of the sponsors. You really can't have this kind of stuff involved with Apex. You know, it's just a bad look. And Alex was good to step down from his post. He was kind of forced to, to be honest with you. I mean, with all these things coming out by such reputable members of the Smash community, it was only a matter of time, and I'm glad that it happened swiftly. And I wanted to give you guys, you know, my extreme thanks and to all those people who came out with their stories. Chibo, um, Nyan, all these people just deserve so much accolades for being able to, you know, just to have the bravery to do that. Because let's be honest, man, I mean, we all know what that position feels like, where, you, you know, you know somebody who's in a higher position, maybe, who's doing a little bit wrong and you know Alex was doing something far from a little bit man this guy was actually a flaming fireball but you know I'm glad that these people had the bravery to come forward and to share their stories with the community you know you, you, there's a lot of risk in doing that you know you know you're going to face a lot of criticism a lot of scrutiny from multiple parties 
and it takes one set of balls to come forward like that especially the transgender member in the community that was amazing for you to come out and for you to share your story like that to out yourself for the sake of making sure that no one else has to be subjected to the mistreatment that Alex Strife was giving people it's really it's really admirable to see it really really is Nyani yeah Nyani I, I thought it was Nyani but I mean you know and I'm you know I'm talking from a perspective of somebody who's new in the Smash community because let's be honest man I'm a baby when it comes to this stuff I don't really I haven't really been involved in the community for that long and I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch me haven't been involved for that long either you know this is my first year ever even seeing the Smash community in this extent and it's really admirable you know there's definitely a lot of maturity when it comes to how you guys handle yourselves and I, I would definitely want to give you guys props for it it's really admirable and so this was the breakdown of the whole Alex Drive situation. As of now, he's stepped down from Apex, and you know Nintendo's still there. So I'm guessing everything's cool. You know, it's a, it's a good look. Things are still moving forward. And if you didn't know, I will be at Apex myself too. I'm not gonna register because I'm just gonna get my ass kicked. I've kind of been a little bit sad with my performance in Smash lately. Yeah, I haven't really been practicing too much, but I will be there showing support for my niggas who are gonna be competing in the tournament. And I can't wait to meet all those great people at the tournament as well too. Um, you know, there's a lot of Smash members that I haven't really talked to or met yet, and I know Apex is going to be the spot to do it. I'm just glad it's being held near me, because right now all my money is being used for moving. But anyways, guys, so um, let me know your opinions on the whole Alex Strife situation in the comments. Um, let me know exactly what you thought about the whole thing. Are you glad with the outcome? You know, it's good to see this kind of thing go down, because you can't just go around acting the way he does you know, for years on end without something happening. And I'm glad that everything caught up to him and his bullshit, you know? I'm glad this was all settled in such a clean way, you know? And I'm glad that people showed, once again, I gotta give my thanks and my props to those people who came out with their stories after the initial story was put out there. I think Nyani's story was put out there first, and then Chibo actually came out with his. And then you saw, you know, other tales come out until eventually it all just, it, it became enough to shoot Alex out of the Apex spot, and I'm glad to see that happen. You don't know how much bravery that takes, man. I gotta give you props. From Etika to you, you know, even though my props don't mean much, I'm still a newbie, but I mean still, thank you guys. It's great to see this kind of activity go down in the Smash community. It's really good to see people take a stand for themselves and put everything at risk in order to make things right and comfortable for the next people. Because, you know, people like Alex Strife kind of put a bad taste in the community's mouth, you know, and to be honest, you know, the community- Oh, shit, what the fuck is that? Oh, I thought it was a- I thought it was a moth. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> I'm sorry, I- I saw a fucking- I- oh, oh, god, my foot. Yeah, this is a typical Edgar World Network video for you. This is how things go down over here. But, um, you know, let's be honest, though, the Smash community doesn't really have you know, a ton of females or, you know, a lot of estrogen in it. So these kinds of people usually offset, you know, the, the inclusion of female players in the Smash community and other communities in general. You know, a lot of online communities are mostly males. And it's good to see this kind of thing brought to light because it makes things more comfortable for people who are observing situations like this. Let's just say I was a, I was a, I was a female who was actually interested in Smash too. Seeing this kind of thing happen would make me feel more comfortable entering the Smash community. Because, let's be honest, man, there's already a whole lot of stigma with um, female gamers in the first place. So that kind of is a derivative for people. That kind of kills motivation for female gamers to get into the thing in the first place. But I mean, seeing this happen, knowing, oh shit, you know, the Smash community actually does care about the comfort levels of female gamers in it. And therefore, I shouldn't feel as intimidated to enter it because, you know, the people there are willing to fight for the rights of the female gamer. And on top of everything else, they're willing to out somebody if they're bullshitting us. And that's good to know, you know? It's, it's good to see that kind of thing happen. Anyways, guys, so um, let me know your opinions on this whole thing in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next video. All of these links will be in the description below so you can see the whole Alex Strife Apex situation unfold. It happened over the last, like, three days. So, I mean, like I said, I'm late, but still, I'm glad that I made this video, and I want to give a big thanks to you guys who came and coming forward with the whole thing. It's really, it's really impressive. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.